Shalom, Shalom. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Rachach Wadash. Double honors to the apostles of Israel, aka the head apostles of Great Millstone, who do rule well and teach well with sound doctrine. Shalom to the elders and the elder bishops of Great Millstone as well. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to all the sincere Akim and Akwath who do subscribe to this truth. A hearty shalom to the men out there on the highways and byways, highways and hedges, preaching and teaching and truth and sincerity, risking their lives and risking their freedom. Now more so than ever, especially in these times, making their bodies a living sacrifice out there on the highways and byways, highways and hedges with the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy, which allows men to go into the scriptures and bring out understanding on a high level. And last but not least, a hearty shalom to the men of Alec Camp, DTA, New Jersey, NYC. First camp I ever heard the truth from, Isaiah 62, verses 6 through 7. Those that make mention of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, keep not silence. Give him no rest day or night. To Jerusalem is a praise in all the earth. So I just want to touch base on this uh, situation that's going on between the Palestinians and the Amalekites in the Holy Land over there in Israel. Going to summarize this article, skim through it, play a couple videos, and tie it all in with the scriptures. Lord's will, this lesson will be edifying. And with no further ado, let's get right into it. So this is an article that was published yesterday from Fox News. And let's read about it. Netanyahu calls state of emergency after violent clashes in Lod. So they got, uh, you know, smoky cities. And not only smoky cities, they got people out there taken to the streets, blasting on the police, man, blasting on the uh, Israeli armed forces, you know, so on and so forth. So let's go. So Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu declared a state of emergency in a city just south of Tel Aviv Tuesday night as Arabs and Amalekites clashed in violent riots. So, I mean, you can see what's going on. I'm going to play a few videos that goes to the, you know, details of what's going on on the ground level. I'm not going to read this whole thing right here. I will leave this in the actual description if you want to, you know, check out the article. It's so really like a one and a half to two minute read, maybe three minute read, you know, at the most. But uh, you can see two Israelis and 32 Palestinians have been killed since the violence erupted Monday, including 10 children. Hundreds of others have reportedly been injured. And you got to take everything with a grain of salt. When you're digesting information from Esau, what I mean by that is these numbers could be way higher. And most likely they are way higher on this side and on this side and on this side. And you probably got some women and uh, old people in the mix as well. So let's play a few of these videos. And this is what's happening on the ground level. And this is coming to America, you know. You're going to look at the skies one day, and you're going to see this. Strange rain. Those strange rains. Let's play this from the top again. This is a, a beautiful sight to see. This has to happen. This is prophecy right here.
beautiful sight to see. So let's keep it going to the next video. This is on the ground level. So this is the uh, header from the Instagram post right here. 43 rockets fired from Gaza to Jerusalem, you know, by the Hamas. And this is by the Hamas as well, you know. A gang of rockets, man, you know. And when this happens to Babylon, this is going to be thermonuclear, you know, strange rain. You know, ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. That's what's coming to Babylon. So let's go on the ground level and cover what's happening with uh, the looting. Now, the uh, header right here says vandalize, but, you know, if you put one and one together, you know, you get two. If somebody broke some windows, somebody definitely, you know, more than likely, you know, went back and snatched some shit up, you know, out of them stores, you know, more than likely, you know, so... Next video. So you can see what's happening, you know, getting bombed on, man, you know, and this is beautiful right here because this is coming to America, man. This is going to happen in Babylon, man. It's happening to the house of Amalek first, which is, you know, the chief house of Edom, man, you know. Beautiful times. And this brother was going in, man, you know, um, you know, 
So that's why I'm playing this, you know. It's a beautiful video right here that uh, was put up on IG, so I'm just sharing it. And a beautiful uh, breakdown. Bounce rock roller skate up out of there, man. back to Isaiah the 14th chapter you know Yahweh Bashim Yahashai will put the real children of Israel in the land not the Balfour declaration of 1948 that's not biblical you know you guys are not the children of the heavenly father man I'm gonna get this this is uh on the brother's post Isaiah 9 and 5 for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire and that's how this final war is going to be fought man thermal nuclear missiles man ICBMs nukes now you also have uh, tensions high in Babylon between Amalek, you know, and Ishmael. I don't know if I should play this or not. I'll play it. Fuck it. And this is for educational purposes only. Me sharing this right here. And this is on YouTube, so that's why I'm sharing it. If it was on any other news source, I wouldn't share it. But the fact that it's on YouTube, I feel comfortable sharing it. So, uh, me playing this part of the video, you know, me playing this part of the video is for educational purposes only. I do not own this footage, nor do I have uh, ownership of this footage right here. This is just for educational purposes. have to uh, say a disclaimer you know before i share footage from you know some of these news sources is now sparking tensions here at home the dueling protest with war on the way it will be another chilly morning in fact a few areas will see some frost i'll show you turning your real life commutes into script ready dramas new york live shows us the mta radio place this is News for Now for May 12th. I'm Adam Cooperstein. And more protests are slated for tonight in New York City as the violence between Israel and the Palestinians escalates in the Middle East. And we've already seen large dueling protests right outside the Israeli consulate here in Manhattan. This was the scene at 42nd Street and 2nd Avenue Tuesday on one Come on side pro-Palestinian demonstrators, on the other pro-Israeli. The two sides traded chants, insults, and for some tense moments, even trading blows. When the scuffles broke out, police did move in and they broke them up. But these two... <laughs> you know, 
And that's crazy because uh, you have people on the ground over there in Israel blasting at each other, man, you know? So they're shooting rockets back and forth at each other, you know, killing children, you know, so on and so forth. And they're on the ground blasting at each other, man. And America backs up Israel, man. So it's only a matter of time before Babylon, you know, gets drawn into some type of conflict over Israel, man. And this may be that conflict, you know, because tensions are high right now. You have Russia, you know, the bear constantly poking at Babylon, Babylon poking at the bear, China, you know, and those are, uh, those are superpowers, man, you know, nations with a lot of nukes, man, a lot of foot soldiers, man, you know, strong navies, you know, so on and so forth. Two sides are having a hard time finding common ground, and yet they both say they want peace. My cousins are living in bomb shelters in Israel right now because of terrorist attacks. I just want peace. I just don't want, I don't want there to be violence anymore. I don't want kids to die. I don't want moms to die, families to die, families to lose their homes. The Israeli consulate had sent staff members home early before the protests started. This all stems, by the way, from the biggest eruption of violence in Israel in years. The two sides of it. And there's not going to be peace in that land until the biblical Israelites are in that land. Going to get that in a second, Lord's will. So, you know, that's it with the uh, videos. Let's go into the scriptures. Obadiah 1 and 2. The vision of Obadiah. Thus said Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. And these Edomites have a lot of these other heathen nations pissed off, man. You know, chiefly Babylon, you know. But you have the 1948ers, the chief house of Edom, Amalek, warped into that and wrapped in that as well, man. You know, leading the charge from behind the scenes. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. And America is greatly despised. These Amalekites are greatly despised. They own everything, man. You know, they own YouTube, man. You know, they own uh, the banks that you go get your uh, loans from, lines of credit, credit cards. They house your money. You know, they own a majority of the Fortune 500 companies. They own the companies that are pushing out the max. You know, they own those uh, genealogy companies. That people go to get those uh, fake uh, ethnicity reports from. Oh, I'm part Irish, part German, part this. No, you're the seat of your father, man. You are whatever your father is. You know, Numbers 1 and 18. As well as plenty of other scriptures that back up, you know, the father's lineage. But back to the point. Second Ezra. 15. 41 through 43 fire and hail and flying swords and many waters that all fields may be full and all rivers with the abundance of great waters and those flying swords are nukes man you know let's play this again so you get the uh you get the visual you know those flying swords are missiles, man, you know? But the final uh, version of the flying swords is going to be those ICBM missiles, man. You know, those intercontinental, uh, it's like those intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. 
those ICBMs, that strange rain. And they shall break down the cities and walls, mountains and hills, trees of the wood and the grass of meadows and their corn. And they shall go steadfastly unto Babylon and make her afraid. And these flying swords, they're going to be the demise of this place. As well as Yahweh uh, Shai, you know, returning with the hosts of heaven, you know. And that's going to be the final judgment, you know, of Babylon the Great, you know. It's going to be the final <laughs> days, day, better yet, of Babylon the Great, man. The great judgment of Babylon the Great, man. Micah 4, 1 through 3. But in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yashai, shall be established in the top of the mountains, and it shall be exalted above the hills, and people shall flow unto it, and many nations shall come, and many nations shall come and say, Come and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yashai, and to the house of the power of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths, for the law shall go forth of Zion, and the word of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yashai from Jerusalem. And that's not happening right now. People aren't going to those Amalekites and trying to learn of those uh, Babylonian Talmud ways, man. You know, they're not saying, hey, man, come and uh, break down the Talmud, you know, show us, uh, you know, how we can have uh, sodomite parades in the Holy Land, you know, how can we buy baby rods? And, uh, you know, do all that madness, you know. They're not saying that, man. They're calling you out, you know. You got heathens telling you that you're not the people, man. You know, as well as the house of David. Standing on their feet in great boldness, telling you that, thus say Yahweh Bashim Yahashai, your days are numbered, man. You know. Thou art greatly despised. Micah 4 and 3. And he shall judge among many people and rebuke strong nations afar off, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up a sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. Well, you can't be the people, man. You can't be the children of the Heavenly Father, man. Because there's not supposed to be any war when the children of Israel, you know, the Israelites are in the Holy Land, man. You know, you're missing 11 tribes. The Lord ain't back. You don't have the laws in your inward parts. Vocab Malone refuses to do a video on you because, you know, he's one of you as well. Uh, also, you don't have people in slavery as far as in sub, uh, as far as being your subjects, you know. Also, also, King David isn't back, you know. Yahweh Shai ain't back. The 144,000 are not establishing um, rulership. As far as governing the earth in righteousness. Because if they were, you know, and if you were the people, then there wouldn't be war. You wouldn't have sodomites. You wouldn't have gangster rap. You wouldn't have Cardi B's. You wouldn't have black culture, you know, or Latino culture, Native American culture. You would have everybody saying, teach us your ways. But you're not the people, man. Second Ezra 9, 1-4 He answered me 
then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Now, right now, Yahweh Bashim Shai is visiting this place and right now the earth is filled with the knowledge of the glory of Yahweh Bashim Shai. You have heathens casting off their idols, you know, over there in uh, India. You had the Elamites, you know, throwing their idols in the rivers, throwing them in the streets, burn them, you know. You have a uh, a pestilence right now wreaking havoc. You have multiple things happening at the same time, you know, that's all pertaining to biblical prophecy, man. You have them pushing this, uh, uh, what's that, blockchain, digital currencies, you know, the uh, Maxime passports, you know. And what's that going to lead up to? The Karagma, man. The prophesied thing. The big kahuna, man. What we're looking for, which is the mark, you know. But we're also watching the tensions on a worldwide scale because those are all signs that the end is nigh, man. Second Ezra 9 and 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. And right now we see uproars of the people in the world on a daily basis, man. You know, you have the Columbia situation and no updates uh, since like literally the four, five, six day mark, you know? So for all we know, they could have clipped the internet down in Columbia and those people could be, you know, really, really catching the uh, H-E double hockey sticks in high gear, man. You know, you, you could have them down there for all we know, because we haven't heard any updates in a while, you know, being pressured to get chipped, man. You know? You have to think like that because we're in those times, man. You know? Those thoughts have to come to your mind every now and then because, you know, they could take the internet down tonight. You see YouTube guidelines. Esau's going crazy, man. He's losing his marbles, man. Everything's a strike. You know? <laughs> Literally. Those are all signs that our redemption is nigh, man. Ecclesiasticus 10, 1 through 4. A wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. And the government of Israel, you know, the Amalekites, is not well ordered. That's why you have war. That's why you have. You know, them not teaching, you know, the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahashai because they're not the people. It wasn't given to them. Also, because they're the seed of the wicked, man. You know, and they're not wise. Wisdom wasn't imparted into Edom to do righteousness, man. You know, it was imparted into Edom to do wickedness, man. Ecclesiastes 10 and 2. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers, and what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all that dwell therein. And right now, the um, people who are in the rulership position is the house of Edom, chiefly being the house of Amalek. So everybody follows the vibration of Babylon the Great, you know, via the elite 
bankers, uh, so on and so forth, that push all those wicked vibrations into society, man. You know, and that's why, you know, you have people who believe in uh, there is no power of heaven and earth. You know, they believe in, uh, you know, uh, what's that evolution? You know, they believe in the philosophies and sciences and uh, bullshit that Esau Edom perpetuates in the earth. You know, because that's that unwise king, you know. Let's uh, read a little more about the unwise king. Ecclesiastes 10 and 3. An unwise king destroyeth his people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. And an unwise king is destroying, you know, his people, and he's destroying earth right now you know and that unwise king is Esau Edom man who's going to be taken out of authority you know via the return of Yahweh Shai man you know 1 Corinthians 15 and 24 you know he will set down all power rule and authority man upon his return with the host of heaven man Ecclesiastes 10 and 4 the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. And that one that is profitable is the nation of Israel, you know, starting with the elect, you know, starting with the 140, uh, the 144,000 rulers, man, you know, who are going to be ruling in righteousness, you know, wise judges, you know. Let's read this again. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, and in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. And Esau isn't profitable, you know, to the earth, man. That's why in Israel, they have to grow uh, genetically modified organisms to yield fruit because <laughs> the earth doesn't even yield um, fruit to Esau, man, you know, because he's unprofitable, man. He's not a wise judge, you know. The animals hate this nigga, man. This nigga has animals in prison, man. This nigga got zoos and shit, man. You know, tigers can't even be tigers, man. You got lions, you know, walking around with uh, depression and shit, man. You know, he, um, he has a judgment coming for that, man. He has to pay for that, man. You know, Esau, man, bro, you're through, man, you know, through, 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 times 102, last precept, Luke 21 and 28, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh, and these things are starting to happen, you know, being the prophecies, you know. You have World War Three, what's looking like the beginning stages of it brewing up. You have the chip being implemented behind the scenes, just has been mandated. You know, you have them setting up the uh, the B system. You know, YouTube guidelines, social credit systems in certain uh, countries like China. You have people uh, already using the Karagma in Sweden for payment. You have nations switching over to digital currencies, blockchain, cryptocurrencies, so on and so forth. That's all to set up the B system, man. The 5G towers to track everybody, you know. You also have uh, the famine, you know, the gas shortage. Well, that gas shortage is gonna be a food truck shortage that's going to be a famine because those food trucks can't deliver food because there's no gas, you know. And Yahweh Shai is hitting the two-thirds right where it hurts. There's a chicken shortage, you know, a chicken shortage, you know. Yahweh Shai is a man of war, man. He's hitting you right where it hurts. Chicken, 
Jake loves some chicken, man. You know? And on top of that, you have what's looking like to be um, civil unrest ready to brew up, you know? Because it's only going to take one incident, you know, via the overturning of the uh, Derek Chauvin verdict, you know, or anything else to tip the people over, man. You have people fighting over gas at gas stations, you know, basically throwing blows. It's only going to be a matter of time if the gas shortage keeps up before somebody gets popped, man. You know, somebody going to get popped, man, over some gas, man. And then you're going to have, you know, civil unrest, you know. Those food trucks, you know, when they run out of food, man, via no gas to deliver the food, the food goes bad, you know, whatever, you know. Whatever type of situation pops off um, from the food shortage, you know. And we're living in dangerous, at the same time, beautiful times. So I'm going to read this again and wrap it on up. Luke 21 and 28. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth not. And these things are starting to happen via the prophecies. So this isn't the time to be in the war is me spirit. You know, this is the time to stay on fire. So in the day of judgment, you won't be on fire. You know, you'll be lifted up in the chariot, you know, and crown, you know, auto and Rathasa. So with that, I'd like to close on out and give all praises on their glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Rachach Wadash. Double honors to the apostles of Israel, aka the head apostles of Great Millstone, who do rule well and teach well with sound doctrine. Shalom to the elders and the elder bishops of Great Millstone as well. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to all the sincere Akim and Akwath who do subscribe to this truth. A hearty shalom to the men out there in the highways and byways, highways and hedges, preaching and teaching in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and risking their freedom. Now more so than ever, especially in these times, making their bodies live a sacrifice. And last but not least, excuse me, uh, a hearty shalom to the men of Ballot Camp, New Jersey, NYC. First camp I ever heard the truth from, Isaiah 62, verses 6 through 7. Those that make mention of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, keep not silence. Give him no rest day or night to Jerusalem is a praise in the earth. So, Lord's will, this lesson was edifying. And to the next time, Lord's will, Shalom. DTA, Ababa Ba. So, 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 so.